Hi everyone, Jen Pike here from The Simplicity Project and Simplicity TV. Lately, I have been doing a couple of DIY projects and I love being able to share them with you. That is one of the benefits of being a holistic lifestyle expert is that I experiment with a lot of different things in the whole realm of health and wellness and then bring them back to show you the things that I love the most. Today, I'm talking to you about doing a really nourishing and invigorating hair serum oil. So you can use this oil when your hair is damp, coming out of the shower to help to give it a little bit more control before you blow dry and style it. You could also do something that I do, which is before I know I'm gonna do a sweaty workout or be out in the beautiful sunshine and the heat, I will do a couple of drops of oil, so a carrier oil, so it could be something like olive oil or it could be jojoba oil, argan oil, uh, rosehip oil, which we're gonna to use today, and then some essential oils, and I just slick it through my hair, put it up in a nice high bun, and I let it just do the work before I shampoo it out. Today's oil is different. This is after you've gotten out of the shower. So you've washed your hair, you get out, you're gonna use this oil, you're just gonna put a couple of drops in your hands and you're gonna run it through your hair and then style it as normal. So all you need to make this happen is a small glass dropper bottle. Now, if you can't get a dropper bottle, meaning like this, where you can just drop a couple of drops out, you could use a bottle like this. You just have to be careful because with your hair and adding oil to it, a little goes a long way. So this bottle was literally $1.59 at Nature's Emporium. Um, they have a couple of different sizes, so go out and get yourself a couple of different ones. Then your carrier oil. I'm gonna use rosehip oil. We're in the summer months right now, which means that with more heat, and it is quite a warm season for us, with more heat, there's more drying that's happening to the hair. So aside from wearing a hat, you wanna make sure that you're using products that are gonna to help to keep the follicle really nourished. So from this, we're gonna open up your rosehip oil. This is Cocoon Apothecary. It's a company that I really love. You can order them online or get them at stores like Nature's Emporium, Whole Foods, some of the bigger health food stores. And so what I'm gonna do from here, is I'm gonna use this dropper to just start to fill up this. Now I do recommend, and I'm gonna do it for myself actually before I go ahead and make a really big mess, is to use a cloth, depending on the surface that you're working on. I mean, the reality is when you're using oil, I mean, this is a wood surface, so I would just actually condition the wood. But you're gonna put some of your oil in here. Um, you can use, like I said, different oils for the base. You will know based on your own hair. If you have curly, frizzy hair, you would wanna use something probably like the rose hip or the argan oil. Now, I don't have curly, frizzy hair, but I have thick hair. So the rose hip does a really good job. I really do think that it's also to know as an important disclaimer that when you're using an oil like argan oil, it does not smell good. Nobody told me this when I first started to use it. And I remember the first time I used it, I actually had it on my face and I got into my bed and my husband was like, uh, what stinks? And I was like, what are you talking about? I just put essential oils on my face and used some argan oil. And he was like, Jen, it smells like throw up. And I was so offended until I smelled my hands from putting it on and I was like, you know what? It doesn't actually smell that awesome. Um, but you get over that because of how nourishing it is for your body. So the rose hip does not smell like roses, um, but it also doesn't smell bad at all. Okay, so the base is in there. Now we're gonna use cypress oil, which I just have to take a smell from it because it's unbelievable it wakes you up. So in terms of circulation for your scalp, so if you have dandruff, if you have slow hair growth as well too, using things like cypress, cedarwood, sandalwood, they're gonna help with hair growth because they promote circulation and stimulation to the hair follicles. And then we've got some grapefruit and grapefruit is just tonifying and it smells beautiful. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add 20 drops of each in here. And don't worry, you don't have to literally be like one, two, three, four, just eyeball it out, just eyeball it out. So you could, while you are waiting for your hair to air dry a little bit, you can make it in that little amount of time. Like honestly, this stuff does not take long. And if it did, I wouldn't be doing it because I don't have a long time for this stuff. That's the whole thing behind the Simplicity Project. There you go. You give it a couple of shakes. Now when you're ready and you get out of the shower, you open this up, hey, you do a couple of one, two to three drops in the palm of your hand. Give it a good run through and then run your fingers through your hair 
And not only is your hair gonna look beautiful, it's going to be under more control when you're styling it and it's going to smell amazing. So another DIY project for you to give a try. Let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear back from you. Join our private Facebook group, Simplicity Project, Fit and Fierce and Fabulous in 2016. Have a fantastic week of more simplicity and more ease in all that you do.